If you've ever tried to emulate a modern game, like something from the Nintendo Switch, then you have likely run into issues with games not loading properly. A popular issue that comes up is the textures that are not loading properly, like as you can see here. Another tends to cause the game to not even load at all and simply crash when you try to play it. But sometimes these issues can be fixed by using a custom driver. So today I want to highlight a GitHub page that you can visit to download the latest Adreno driver from Qualcomm. This page also has the latest Turnip GPU drivers that are built from the Mesa 3D project. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, the Mesa project offers what is commonly referred to as a turnip driver. And this is an open source GPU driver that provides Vulkan support for these Qualcomm chipsets. In some instances, a turnip driver can give you better performance in a game than the official driver from Qualcomm. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is visit this page on GitHub. This is from the developer known as Kim Chi, and I'll be sure to include a link down in the video description below for those who may want a quick way of finding this page. So on this GitHub page, you're going to find a repository containing custom drivers for a plethora of emulators on Android. Again, sometimes these drivers are extracted from actual Qualcomm devices, and others are the turnip drivers, which are compiled from Mesa. So let's go ahead and tap on the releases page. And right off the bat here, you can see this page has some of the latest Adreno GP drivers that have been extracted from newly released or newly updated devices. With each of the drivers listed here, be sure to read through the change log notes that you see right there. Because even if you aren't sure about what everything means in the change log, this developer tends to include details about which devices are supported. So in this example here of the Qualcomm driver version 744.8, this is specifically for the Adreno 750 GPU, which can be found on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 series. This will also sometimes tell you which devices a driver is broken on. So again, in this instance, for this specific driver, it's going to be broken on Snapdragon 7 Gen 2 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And then as we scroll through here, you're going to see that some of these drivers are going to be made for a range of devices and tend to be more universal. So for example, the Qualcomm driver version 676.47 is likely going to work well on all Adreno 700 series GPUs, which means the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. And for here, this specific driver is going to work well on Adreno 600 series GPUs and even the 730 and up variants. So it's advised to only use this driver on Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chips and lower. Then as we continue to scroll through this list of releases, you're going to come across the Mesa turnip drivers. And again, 
be sure to read through the change log release notes. The driver tends to include hardware support details here so that you can have an idea as to what device this driver is said to work on. So again, this version 24, revision 14, is going to support Adreno 644. And as usual, support for the Adreno 600 series and the Adreno 700 series is implied here. Now, with that said, just installing the latest version of either a Turnip driver or a Qualcomm driver may not be the ideal solution for you. There are going to be some drivers that work best with select devices. And there are also going to be other times when a specific game will only load properly on an older Qualcomm or Turnip driver. So for testing purposes going forward, I will be keeping all of these drivers on smartphones that I use specifically for work on this channel. That way I can cycle through them when testing out new games or updated emulators to see if there is a perfect combination for that particular hardware setup. Since the emulators that support custom drivers have things set up differently, I'll be doing a separate video about how to install these drivers for those particular apps. Naturally, I'll start by showing how this is done with Yuzu, but then I will expand this with additional videos for other emulators, including Skyline, Strato, Citra, Dolphin, and Vita 3K. So in the past, if you have ever heard So in the past, if you had ever heard of the Mesa Turnip Driver and you were just not sure what that meant, I hope this video has explained things in a way that you understand things better now. The goal is to find a Qualcomm or Turnip Driver that works great on your hardware and then use it when you come across compatibility or performance issues in a game that you're trying to emulate on Android. There may be a way to install these drivers as your default option for native games downloaded from the Google Play Store, but that may also require root access and a root tool like Majisk to install. However, right now, we're just looking at things from an emulation perspective. So in the past, if you have ever heard So in the past, if you had ever heard of the Mesa Turnip Driver and you were just not sure what that meant, I hope this video has explained things in a way that you understand things better now. The goal is to find a Qualcomm or Turnip Driver that works great on your hardware and then use it when you come across compatibility or performance issues in a game that you're trying to emulate on Android. There may be a way to install these drivers as your default option for native games downloaded from the Google Play Store, but that may also require root access and a root tool like Majisk to install. However, right now, we're just looking at things from an emulation perspective. 